he's calming down a little bit. I never saw anything like that in my life. I speak a little horse, he speaks a little human. We understand each other. Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> His good breeding doesn't count for much after all. Rich kid needs a lesson. I know, but I'm against teachers hitting students. Look, leave me alone. Good night. I just don't like it. Well, don't you like it? You don't even know what the assignment is yet. Neither do I. Yeah, I don't know what the assignment is, but I know what the job's going to be. That's what I don't like. Oh, come on. I mean, look at this country. The rolling hills and pastures. And horses. That's the thing. Horses. What's the matter with horses? I thought you grew up on a ranch when you were a kid. I did. That's why I know what I'm talking about. The killers, Jonathan. The vicious, mean-spirited killers. Mark, that's nonsense, and you know it. Horses don't like me. That's because you don't like them. Hey, if one thing a horse has got, it's good instinct. They got stink, all right. There's nothing good about that. And flies. I'm telling you, the horses come with flies. Yeah, we're going to turn up here. Why don't people ever need help in Hawaii? Tell me that's not beautiful? Oh, well, the girl's beautiful, but the horse is the fly factory. How you doing? Just fine. Oh, that's a beautiful horse. Yeah, Bucephalus is a great horse. Got the makings of a real champion. Oh, we're looking for a Mr. McGill. He's a trainer here. Yeah, I know. He's my father. Oh. You in the market for a horse? No, actually, we're in the market for a job. Oh. I think you're wasting your time. We have all the help we can use right now. Yeah. Can't hurt to try. You never know. All right, let me put this horse up and we'll find my dad. Thank you. Uh, you're quite a rider. Hmm. You ever compete? Oh, just minor league stuff. Well, you would have fooled me. You sure didn't look like minor league stuff back there. Oh, thanks. To get into the nationals, it takes more than a rider, though. You need a great horse, and those can run a couple hundred thousand dollars. You can't exactly squeeze Ooh. that out of a trainer's salary. <laughs> What about the horse you were riding? You said it had the makings of a champion. Oh, he does. He's not mine, though. I wish he was. He belongs to Garth Armstrong, Jr. That's the owner's son. They shipped him over here from Europe for the munchkin. The munchkin? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he was last time I saw him, about eight years ago. It comes up to my shoulders. Anyway, he went away to school in Europe, and they shipped his horse here ahead of time so we could work with him. 
Oh, my name's Lizzie, by the way, Lizzie McGill. Uh, I'm Jonathan Smith. This Hi. is my friend, Mike Gordon. Hi. Sorry. Dad, coming. Hi, Daddy. Hi, yourself. Daddy, this is Jonathan Smith and Mark Gordon. They're looking for work. I told them we didn't have anything right now. Not until about an hour ago when the two of the stable hands quit. That's why I'm alone with this maniac. You fellas know anything about horses? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, very little. We're terrific gardeners, though. You got anything in gardening? What's the horse's name? Hurricane. What else? All right, Hurricane, just stop right there. I want to talk to you. Hey, now. My name's Jonathan. You scared of me? Oh, now, come on. There's no reason to be scared of me. I'm a friend of yours, OK? Now, listen. How would you like it if I got on your back and rode you a little bit? All right, all right, I'll do that. Now he's calming down a little bit. I never saw anything like that in my life. Uh, just a knack, I guess. I speak a little horse, he speaks a little human. We understand each other. Mr. Smith, you and your friend have just got yourself a job. Hey, thank you. Come on, I'll show you where you bump. Great. This is great. Starting to settle down, Mr. Armstrong. Well, looks pretty good, don't you think? He ought to. It costs enough. He has some bad habits. Matt, I want my son to have a horse that's going to win him the national. If you settle this isn't it, let's cut our losses and find him one that is. If there's a champion in that horse, we bring it out, sir. That's what I'm paying you for, Mac. Yes, sir. you know. Who are you, anyway? Oh, come, come, my dear. We've only just met. Already we're having our first tip. Hey, creep! Don't walk away from me! This is private property. I'm talking to you! Hi, Dad. Pretty flashy entrance, wasn't it, son? Son? Oh, it's the munchkin. That's the munchkin. I guess he grew. Luton, I'm sorry I called you a creep. I didn't recognize you. Why should you recognize me? Have we met, or do you just read the society pages under the dryer? God, you remember McGill's daughter, Elizabeth? Lizzie the Butterball? Yeah. I've Slim down. Yeah, filled out. Well, the old homestead might not be such a bore after all. Beautiful body. Nice legs. I remember you're engaged. Yeah, I was talking about the horse, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I embarrass you? No. No. Cephalus is a great horse. How does he handle? Well, he looks good, but he's spoiled rotten. Really? Yeah. Really. He likes to prance around and show off his breeding, but I can handle him. I'm gonna go give him a bath. I'll walk with you. You can tell me more about my horse. What's wrong? 
Guess good breeding doesn't count for much after all. Hey, hold on, Lizzie. Let me explain no, something. There's nothing to explain. You're engaged to another girl, and you made a pass at me. Now, maybe that's the height of sophistication in your book, but it's not in mine. Lizzie, there are three things I have to do in order to get my trust fund. Finish college, which I just barely managed to do. Win the Grand Nationals, which I intend to do. And marry Lane Kensington, which I will be forced to do in a few months. In the meantime, I just thought we could have a good time, that's all. You're disgusting, you know that? Hey, if my father wants to force me to marry someone, that's his business. Where I find happiness, that's mine. I feel sorry for you. Yeah? Well, don't lose any sleep over it. Don't worry, I won't. Hey there. Yes, sir. What's your name? Jonathan Smith. Well, Jonathan Smith, what's the story on Lizzie? I don't know what you mean, sir. Oh, come, come, Smith. Let's not be coy. She got a boyfriend? What's the story? Oh, well, I haven't worked here very long, but I don't think she does. There, as I can tell, all she cares about is riding in the Nationals. She's going to compete? All is not lost. And I didn't say she was going to compete. I said she wanted to. She told me she couldn't afford the kind of horse it would take. No, I suppose not. You know, I bet she'd be pretty tough on a horse like Bucephalus there. Yeah, I bet she would. Thanks for the information, Jonathan. You bet. Feelings exactly. Looks like that Armstrong boy took quite a shine to you. Really? I hadn't noticed. Yeah, a lot like your mother, Lizzie. Rest her soul. She wasn't much of a liar either. I don't think there's much to be concerned about where the Munchkin and I are concerned. Well, I hope you're right, Lizzie. For your sake. Daddy, Garth Armstrong Jr. is the last person on earth I'd think about getting involved with. That's the same thing that your mother said to me. Daddy. What I want is what you had with Mother. I don't think anybody is ever going to have that kind of relationship with Garth. I feel sorry for him more than anything else. Eat your food before it gets cold. Yes, ma'am. What do you think? Kind of cute, huh? Whose idea was it to gift wrap Bucephalus? Well, I've got a note here. Probably explain all that. It's from Garth. Dear Butterball, if you think you're so hot, you ride Bucephalus in the Nationals. Though corrupting young girls is a hobby of mine, I know you're burdened with scruples, so don't consider this a gift. Think of it as a loan just to ensure I get some decent competition. Garth. I can't accept this, can I? I don't see why not. He just said it was a loan. John, I'm gonna ride in the Nationals. I mean, I'm really gonna do it. I gotta go tell my dad. Daddy's around here someplace with the Armstrongs. If you see him, will you tell him that I went out with the officials to walk over the course? Yeah, okay. Okay, Jonathan, um, you better find out what time the veterinary advisor and the ground official are going to want to test Bucephalus. Right. Okay, and Mark, get Bucephalus settled in and brush him down for me, okay? Well, couldn't we do it the other way around? You know, let Jonathan take care of the horse? Now, you're going to have to get used to him sooner or later. Besides, Bucephalus is crazy about you. <laughs> Just pretend it. He's waiting to get me alone. <laughs> see you later. Jonathan, I got to go see the vet. 
Jonathan, I don't like it in here. You're gonna be fine, Mark. You're gonna be fine. I'm not gonna be fine. Jonathan! Don't do that. I don't like that. Oh, now, you, look, you stay away from me. Look, I'm a cop, you know. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an expert in martial arts. <laughs> Try to kill me. <laughs> he, uh, he loves when I do that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a horse laugh. <laughs> All competitors to the starting area, please. All competitors to the starting area. Hi, Butterball. Hey, you look nervous. Relax. Comes easy for you, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. Oh, Lizzie, it's just a game, after all. It's just riding around on four-legged beasties. It's not important to you at all, is it? Sure it is. It means I get my trust fund. Then I don't have to worry about achieving anything. I can rest on my laurels and my father's money. Somebody ought to give you a swift kick in your laurels. It'll probably never happen, though. You're probably just going to breeze right through your whole life. I hope so. Well, I feel sorry for you. You have everything. Looks, talent, money. None of it means anything to you. It's a horrible way to live. Yeah, it is a burden. But it's my cross, and I bear it in silence. What do you say, loser buys the winner at dinner? If you lose, you can treat me to a hamburger. If I lose, we go to the Tour d'Argent in Paris. My hamburger against a trip to Paris? Yeah, or Rome or London. The next, the next rider, rider is Lizzie, Lizzie McGill, McGill on Bucephalus. You're on. So what about the bet? Let's compromise. Say winner buys a pizza, period. Watch me, sweetheart. The next rider is Garth Armstrong on Jabbar. Nice ride, baby. Five, four, three, two, one. one.
Well, hail to the conquering hero. Where should we go for that pizza? Are you kidding? I'm not going anywhere with you. What are you talking about? You won, didn't you? You set your goal and you achieved it. I thought that's what it's all about to you. How could you just throw a tantrum and walk off without even finishing the course? You saw what happened. I had a refusal. There's no way I could have won. I feel the need for a little fresh air. Finish brushing your cephalos for me, would you? All right. Thank you. Busy. I don't get it. There's no way I could have won. Why knock myself out for nothing? Well, you could have finished the course like a man instead of a spoiled brat. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you. What's it to her, or to you, for that matter? Hey, it's nothing to me, Guard. Maybe it means something to her because, for some reason, she likes you. Oh, she does, does she? Well, we'll see who's in the winner's circle when the finals come around. Oh, and if you want to keep that job of yours, my friend, watch your mouth around me. You got it? I thought horses were stupid. Well, that kid needs to get knocked on his butt a time or two. Mark, I have a feeling he's going to be. I'm waiting on another customer. I said I'll be with you in a minute. Ooh, hey, baby. How'd you like to go to Paris? How'd you like to go to the hospital? You talking to me? That's right. Well, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Come on, rich kid, get up. Hey, Garth, old buddy. It's getting late. Time to go home. Stay out of hey. this. Garth, I'm trying to be nice. You stay out of this. Rich kid needs a lesson. I know, but I'm against teachers and students. Look, leave me alone. Good night. jaw hit my hand, but I'm okay. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, well, stay away from me. Hey, you're in no condition to drive the car. I said stay away from me. Look at this. You gotta get this car service, you know that? What? Come on. It's a nice night for a walk. Sobering up? Yeah, a little bit. Sorry I had to pop you back there, but I better figured it better me than him. <sighs> yeah, guess I was a real jerk back there, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. I always agree with the boss's son. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why do you act like a jerk? I'm not just talking about tonight, either. Oh, I know. You'd have to be a real rich kid to understand. Try me. Well, from the time I was a little kid, I always heard everybody telling me how lucky I was because my old man was loaded. Self-made millionaire, my father. He made his first million when he was 20. Well, hell, how am I going to compete with that? I could bust my butt and never come close to making that kind of money. So why try? So I laugh my way through life and act like a jerk. Now, why would anybody expect you to make as much money as your father? Besides, you don't measure a man's success in life by how much money he makes. Oh, you do in the circle I run in. See, I'm going to marry a girl named Lane. Her family's loaded, too. That's why we're suited. See, rich marries rich, so the families are guaranteed that each generation gets richer. How do you love her? Oh, of course not. It's planned breeding, you know, like horses. That was one big difference. You have a choice. 
I do, huh? Look at this place. It's beautiful, isn't it? If I do what my dad wants, it'll all be mine someday. Well, come on, you gonna tell me you wouldn't want to live like this? Without love? No. And I don't think you want to either. Good night, Garth. Probably weigh a ton. I went off my diet and pigged out last night. I probably gained a ton. Why can't ice cream be low cal and lettuce be fattening? All right, how much did I gain? Nothing. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. As a matter of fact, you, uh, you've lost 10 pounds. I did? That's great. Lizzie, have you been taking any diet pills? No. You're telling me the truth? Yes. Well, I don't figure it. All these years, fighting to keep your riding weight down, and then all of a sudden, bingo. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Guess it's just nerves thinking about the nationals. You could be right. But let's keep an eye on that weight, OK? OK. <laughs> Oh, it's you. You could have saved yourself a trip. I was just going to bring Bucephalus over to your place. I had this early doctor's appointment. No, I didn't come to pick up the horse. Well, I figured after yesterday. What? Because you chewed me out? I deserved it. You were right. I acted like a jerk. You're admitting it? I just did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Well, anyway, that's what I came to tell you, that you were right. So, uh, see you around. Hey. I owe you an apology. For what? You didn't do anything. Yeah, I did. I misjudged you. No, you didn't. I'm still a jerk. But I'm working on it. You still owe me a pizza. That's right. Um, seven o'clock, all right? Yeah, seven o'clock is absolutely all right. All right, there you go. You're all set. I don't like this. Oh, come on, Mark. You're never going to get over your fear of horses until you ride. I just soon keep the fear, all right? Trust me, will you? I don't trust you. It's... Come on, get on. Go on. I've got a feeling I'm going to regret this. <laughs> nice horsey. <laughs> there, there, you see? He hates me. No, he doesn't. Well, then what was that? He was just saying hello. Now, don't worry. I use the stuff. I got the stuff? No, no, the horse has got the stuff. Oh. 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 Whoa. 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 Jonathan, cute. <laughs> cute.
speed up. You're running out of time. I am not. You're saying that because I'm winning. That's true. <laughs> oh. Ha! New record. Beat that. No, I can't. I surrender. Is there any pizza left? But of course. Look at me like that. I can afford to eat. My weight's down. Oh, well, that isn't the look I was giving you. What then? I was just thinking how much fun it is to be with someone like you. Someone like me? Someone real. Someone I care about. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? My dad warned me. He said that... I was another challenge to you, just another conquest. I'm just letting you know that you're wasting your time. Because I don't swoon over lines like that. It wasn't a line, and I didn't expect you to swoon. I made a mistake, I tried to be honest with you. I apologize. I apologize. I'm sorry, forget I said that. That wasn't fair. Apology accepted. <sighs> Come on, I'm gonna beat you at that game if it's the last thing I do. Late, Dad. I was reading. Lane called. Oh. Wanted to know where you were. There was a dinner party tonight. Yeah, I had some thinking to do. You were with the McGill girl having a pizza. I happened to ask one of the boys if they'd seen you. Yeah, I ordered a pizza from the other day. This is a small town. People talk. Don't do anything to jeopardize your marriage to Lane. Oh, come on, Dad. There's only one thing that could jeopardize that. It's very unlikely you'll go broke. I'll see you in the morning. She's gonna be tough to beat. Yeah, she always was. Garth! Well, there's my long-lost fiancé. Oh, boy. Lane, what brings you out here? Well, if the mountain won't come to Mohammed. It's been a few days. So I missed you. Yeah, well, I've been busy. I can see that. What a beautiful horse. Yeah, Bucephalus. Isn't that the McGill girl? Yeah, she's quite a rider. Is that all? What? <laughs> Never mind. Your father and I were talking about a wedding present. And I couldn't make up my mind until now. Daddy, you know what I'd love? That horse. He's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> yours. <laughs> what? But you, you've never been interested. I'm quite a good rider, really. And since I'm going to be part of this family, I think I should spend more time riding. It is all right, isn't it, Dad? I said it was yours. But I promised Lizzie she could ride the horse in the Nationals if she makes it. Well, God, you just have to find her another horse to ride. Oh, Liz, Liz. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Armstrong. Liz, do you know Lane Kensington? Sure, hi. Hello. Well, Lane has decided she'd like to have Bucephalus as a wedding gift. So we'll find you another mount. Well, he's an awful lot of horse if you're not an expert rider. I am, thank you. 
As a matter of fact, I'd like to feel him out right now. Well, um, you be careful. I'm always careful with anything that's mine. Garth? Some work to do. Garth! Face. I've never seen her with a hair on a place. Well, she was a vision. <laughs> I don't know what got into that horse, but he couldn't have picked a better time. Lizzie, you in here? Well, she was upset. She might have gone home. Yeah, I'll take care of the horse. Thanks. Lizzie. 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 I don't know. I just got dizzy. <laughs> Good old dizzy Lizzie. Can you get up? Yeah. I just feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> well, you got your horse back. What? Bucephalus looked like he was coming out of a chute. Lane wants no part of him. All right. I'm sorry it happened. I know. But I'm still going to beat you on Saturday. You know how I like my pizza. Oh, God. Lane is all cleaned up. She's waiting for you at the house. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll uh, talk to you later. Hey, you're still not too steady on your feet, young lady. I know. I've been feeling kind of puny lately. Why don't you let me run you over to the doctor? No, I'll be fine. Hey, don't be stubborn. Even though I know you can't help it. All right, you talk me into it. Let's go. Lizzie, you've dropped another five pounds. Keep this up, I'm going to be modeling for Vogue. I'm going to run a few tests, see if I can track this thing down. Hmm. Maybe I just need a few vitamins. Maybe you just need a few tests taken. Yes, sir. You're going to have to take blood. Yes, I'm going to have to take blood. Oof. Yuck, I hate that. <laughs> Hi. Hi, yourself. Ready to get beat? No way. Oh, you're that sure of yourself? Yep. Well, maybe you'd like to up the ante. I would, but I can't afford it. Hey, you just said no way you can lose. I know, but my dad taught me never bet what you can't afford. All right, I'll make it easy on you. You win, mm -hmm. I buy the pizza. If I win, you marry me. Very funny. Who's laughing? Lizzie, I love you. If you do marry me, I'll probably get cut off by my father. I thought you should know that. But what the hell, pizza's not expensive anyway. Really 
quite good, isn't she? I wouldn't know. Nice ride. Thanks. It's like you're stuck for a pizza. No, that's where you're wrong, former Miss Miguel. I never said it was a bet. Never said it wasn't, either. Our last, last contestant, contestant is Garth Armstrong, Armstrong riding, riding Jabbar. Jabbar. See you at the altar. He is crazy, you know that? Yeah. About you. I want you to know something. This so-called marriage between your daughter and my son is not going to do you or her any good. Do you understand me? I'm cut off for that opinion. Mr. Armstrong. Now you keep out of this. Now, if you know where they've gone, I advise you to tell me so we can stop this before it even starts. I'm not going to have any gold digging daughter of a ranch hand moving into my family. No! 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 name's the matter with him. I stopped by this evening to give Lizzie and her father the news about her tests. What, what, what are you talking about? Lizzie has cancer, Mr. Armstrong. <laughs> 